Morning all, TC Detects back out again. Look at that, arable field. Been dissed this morning. Uh, so fresh first of the spring. Uh, this particular field has got a lot of green waste on it, unfortunately. Particularly unfortunate given it's next to a field that's got a Roman villa on it. Unfortunately, that field isn't on my permission, so this is the nearest I get. Not really concentrating this field, just walking across it to get to the one over there. Which has got some cover crop on it, but we had some success on it last year with a medieval casket key, hammered coin, some uh, Tudor dress pins, silver thimble, even the grape shot I uh, seem to remember coming off there as well. So we uh, will go back and head towards that uh, and see what we get today. The weather's not too bad either, it's a bit windy, so can't complain. Nice to be out on a Friday morning. Right, let's crack on, see what we find. And this has been disked just this morning. We are right next to a, a Roman field which is across the road behind me. Not on my permission unfortunately, but has a Roman villa on. Never found any Roman on here. Lots of green waste, unfortunately. We're heading up towards that tree line. There's another field which got some cover crop on. Let's see how we get on on there. And first it was the, this thing with the, that uh, mid-90s uh, signal. I think it was just about a bit of trash if it weren't for the fact that I'm next to the Roman villa field. Um, so there could be a very plough damaged Roman coin under that grot and grime. We'll clean it up later and see if it is or not. And next up is the first button of the day. Quite an old one by the look of it, uh, very bad, uh, but I think it's got some age to it, so there you go, button for TC, Yorkshire's very own button boy. And next decent signal, I've just flicked out of that hole, it's already moved out, advantage of arable sometimes, can get things very close to the surface. In the mid 60s, about 68, here somewhere. There, right, look at that. Ah, there we go, let's flip it out. It's like this little copper thing, which I've had similar on here before. I think it's a, uh, a token co-op token or something like that. Uh, I'll clean it up, see if we can get a better picture. But there you go, first decent find of the day. And there we are, let's sort of focus on it. So, Indeed a cooperative uh, token, looks like a uh, like penny, penny and a half, nice, nice little find. Right, so afternoon session, new field, this is the one with the cover crop on, uh, going to be a lot more difficult to detect on, but hey, it's been a more productive field in the past, so probably worth the pain, fingers crossed anyway. Uh, for those who are interested in such things, I've been running the Atrex in multi-frequency, in M2, no specific reason, apart from on the EMI screen, that was the clearest of all the channels. They were all at the bottom, so any of them would have been fine. Uh, I'm in coins mode, only tweaks. Uh, I've got ID gain on, and I've got iron audio up a little bit as well, uh, but that's it really. Uh, haven't ported any of my personal programs over from the Alt 71 as yet. Still getting used to the Atrex, but I will be doing that over the next few weeks. So, without further ado, and a lot less waffle, crack on see what we find and as always thanks for watching TC Detects. So next signal is out of the clod and it's in this bit of the clod here a very very stable 82 reasonable chance it's trash but let's try and do this live corner somewhere oh. there on the bottom corner you see it we have a coin or button shaped thing TC oh I was going to say it's about to be a button but that would appear not to be a button 
would appear to be a coin of some description. Pre-decimal farthing maybe something like that. Let me clean it up and see if I can work it out. Uh, nope. Looks like a blank coin of some description. Small, possibly a farthing, but not entirely sure what. Right, so next signal, maybe last signal, getting very windy now, uh, is down here in this uh, clod. Is it one or two? Very stable. So hopefully something good and not trash on the same range. Oh, there we go. Looks like a coin or a button. No obvious shank, so it looks like a coin of some description. Uh, let's have some age to it, oh it looks a bit bad. Give it a clean up so we can see anything on it. So, minor heart attack. Just pull this out and we're sticking out the surface or the top side of it was. Does that mean? Does that look like? Uh, an axe head. But turn it on its side, it's got this side protrusion. I have a feeling that that's not particularly old and it's probably plough related rather than axe related. I guess you could axe it that way. Anybody, any idea on these things? I'm going to take it off the field just in case it is something of age and of that nature. Hey, guess you never know. And next up, ringing in in the mid 70s was this little button. First I thought it might be a very small coin, but I believe not. So another button. And the next one I just flicked out, almost surface find. It was, it's just there by looking at it. Zoom in a bit. Looks like the edge of a button or a coin. Uh, or in this case, part of one of them. Again, we're on the next to the Roman field, so maybe. Clean it up later, see if there's anything visible on it. I also found, but didn't record, uh, this little silver thing. It's only about a centimetre across, could be an earring or something like that, maybe the top of a ring. But it looks like it's the same shape as a Yorkshire rose, which is not surprising, because I was in Yorkshire.